Hello everybody, and welcome back to Evan Writes. Today is going to be a really crazy book haul video. It is my first book haul of 2020, but this includes a couple of books that I have bought since the beginning of the year and the very last days of December of last year. This book haul is ginormous and you will see the cause of that a little later on. To keep this video short, I'm not gonna go into too much of a spiel. Before I get started, go ahead and like and subscribe if you like this content. Make sure to follow the other booktubers and author tubers who have done collaborations with me. It's been really fun. I'm gonna get back into my normal stride now aside from writing all those little stories and doing those videos relating to drawing now that those are done for the moment at least we're going to go ahead and get back to the regular content so without further ado let's roll the intro i'm going to start this book haul off with some of the smaller books that i got because at the end there is a doozy of a haul that I got really lucky to get something I've been looking for for a while and I figured I didn't end up getting piece by piece but I ended up getting it all at once out of a sheer strain of luck for a really good price and I will share that at the end so before I get started I'm gonna go ahead and share the first two books that I got I went ahead and got Scythe and Thunderhead the first two books of the Scythe trilogy I will eventually get the toll as well as long as I like these first two books, I got them together for a pretty good price. I think it was like $10 for the two. And they're hardback. I was just looking for hardback. So when I saw that deal, I went ahead and got them. I will eventually get to them. I'm not sure when because this haul is ginormous. The next thing that I got is The Poppy War. Mainly because I've been looking for fantasy to sort of reach out and expand my knowledge of fantasy. Basically, The Poppy War has its roots in eastern storytelling and it is a different type of fantasy from what i've heard i've heard it's a good book i'm excited to read them i know there's at least one other book out in this set and i think it's supposed to be a trilogy but the third one might not be out yet i'm not entirely sure as i said i don't know much about this but i'm excited to expand my horizons with this book the next one i got is Joe Abercrombie's A Little Hatred. Now this one was a signed copy. That's one of the reasons I got it. And it was also, I think, 50% off at Barnes & Noble at the end of last year when I grabbed it. I heard that Joe Abercrombie writes really good books and that it's a type of grimdark fantasy. And I haven't really read much grimdark fantasy, though some fantasies I have read have had grimdark elements, but I wouldn't necessarily classify them as grimdark. Like the Night Angel trilogy, for example, is very dark in some ways but at the same time not but i heard a little hatred was really good i believe it was daniel green that said it was better than his other trilogy so i grabbed this one and figured i'd go ahead and start with this one <clears throat> hopefully that'll expand my horizons a little bit aside from that this is more of a sci-fi entry i grabbed the dune anniversary i believe it's an anniversary edition probably like the 25th anniversary i know it's an old book maybe even older than that but i just liked how it looked and i heard dune is really good it was mentioned by brandon sanderson and many other famous authors when they talk about things that they liked and things that they pull some of their inspiration from so i will eventually get to dune i know it's a very large series but i only really plan to read the first one unless the other ones are necessary to understand it more as for the other books, this is a book that I've actually started reading after I finished The Wise Man's Fear, which I will get to in another video with my review on. I grabbed We Hunt the Flame, and I grabbed this one mainly because the author is of Middle Eastern descent, and her storytelling takes a lot of inspiration from the Middle Eastern culture. And I wanted to see a fantasy and read and understand a fantasy based on the Middle Eastern culture and expand my horizons, much like the reason I grabbed the Poppy War. But I grabbed this one first. Now, this is a book that I was planning to buy back when I got The Ruin of Kings, which was one of my first review videos. And I was deciding between the two and I ended up grabbing The Ruin of Kings first, which I really... Yeah, I think that was a terrible decision because so far, only 50 pages into this book, We Hunt the Flame, I'm enjoying it. I've been reading it very slowly over the last two weeks, mainly because I kind of burned myself out with The Wise Man's Fear. But I will get back into it, and once this picks up a little bit more, I think I'm going to breeze through the rest of the book. I love her writing style, and so far it is very interesting, and I'm getting some cool cultural 
variations from this type of fantasy and I am excited to see what the rest of the book holds. Anyway, that is the small haul of this book haul. The next two parts of the haul are series that I bought all together. Now, originally I bought Brandon Sanderson's The Wave Kings and The Words of Radiance in soft cover. And though I will read them in soft cover because I won't have to care about messing up the book because I have the hard covers now, I went ahead and I splurged and got the hardcover books. And originally I bought them separately on Amazon, but then I found a great deal nearby where somebody was selling all three for, I think it was $20 together, and they were all hardback, so I returned the Amazon ones and got these. But here's the Wave Kings. Then I have Words of Radiance. <laughs> these are big books, man. And then I have Oathbringer. I'm really excited. These are what I plan to read next. To be honest, I plan to go in as soon as I finish We Hunt the Flame. I plan to jump in and start reading The Way of Kings. And for my future reading goals, I will read a large book like The Way of Kings. I will take a break with a smaller book like The Poppy War or Scythe. And then I'll hit up the next one, The Words of Radiance, then a smaller book, and then a larger book. And that's how I've been doing it lately, breaking up um, the other books that I was reading, like Patrick Roxfuss, The Name of the Wind, and The Wise Man's Fear. I broke them up with Elantris in between, and I kind of liked that I had that small break. And I didn't have to worry as much about getting through a large book. So that's how I'm going to continue all my book reading from now on. is one large series book and then go to maybe a standalone or a series that has smaller book sizes. And I'll split them up like that. So that is Brandon Sanderson's Way of Kings. Now, we're getting here to the reason that this book haul is ginormous for me. And you're about to understand why. I've been looking for, for a long time the Wheel of Time series in hardback and I figured I'd have to get them one by one individually maybe at full price and I wasn't sure how long it would be before I got them and I ended up getting I think the second book in the series the original soft cover which is still the same size as the hardback just with a soft cover I was like okay that's cool but I need the first one to start reading the series and I ended up finding an ad nearby on something sort of like Craigslist near my area, but it's safer. It's pretty much an online classified where people can post what they want to sell and it's safer than Craigslist in my opinion. I haven't had any issues with them. I found some really good deals and this is one of them. I found the entire Wheel of Time series hardback, including the prequel novel. So this is 15 books, all for $60. Hardback, very good condition. I am super proud that I got this. As soon as I saw it, I instantly messaged the person and went and got them that same day because i had been looking for them for a long time and checking the site over and over again to maybe pick off one or two of these books as i saw them come up if anybody sold them but when i got the whole series man i was so happy so i'm gonna try to show them to you there's so many they're huge <laughs> as you can tell here's like the first six including the prologue okay there's the first seven including the uh prequel which I'm told I should not read first because it has spoilers for later in the series. So if any of you have read The Wheel of Time and you know the best time to read that prequel book and between what novels or when it's safe to read it, let me know because it kind of feels weird not to read the prequel first, but I do understand if it has spoilers, I should leave it alone until I get to a safe spot in the series. I imagine I don't have to read the whole series before I get to it. So just let me know in the comments if you've read them before and if you've read the prequel which the prequel is called, I guess, Wheel of Time in the Beginning, New Spring, the novel. I'm not sure which part of that's the actual title, but let me know when I, it's safe to read that. So these are those first seven books. Uh, loud, right? And now, for the last eight of these books. There you go. All of them right there. I'm not going to hold them up one by one. I'm just going to grab them all together. But I got these books and I was so excited and I'm glad that I managed to pull this haul. It is a huge book haul and it is going to take me all year and longer probably to read through all these books. I still plan to go and get other books along the way. My reading list is now really huge, mainly because the Wheel of Time series is really huge. But as I said, I'm gonna be breaking each larger volume up 
with smaller books in between, so I will continue to buy smaller books to read in between them. Anyway, I'm gonna set these down, they're huge. Okay. Yeah, I don't wanna hurt you. A ton of books. They weigh more than you do. Probably two of them weigh more than you do, to be honest. I hope you enjoyed the book haul video. If there are any of those books you think I should read, Next, let me know. I'm currently reading We Hunt the Flame, as I said, and then I plan to hit The Wave Kings after that. But if there is a book in between The Wave Kings and Words of Radiance that you think I should read from this haul, let me know and give me your reasons why. Anyway, have a great day. Like and subscribe if you haven't and you want to keep seeing this content. And have a great day, everybody.